a ceremony full of pomp and circumstance and for good reason in honor of three men that made a career out of giving and are now starting a new chapter in life. But the honorees, they say it's their families that deserve all the recognition. T for training, E for education, A for adventure, M for money, and S for service to the nation. It spells teams. You have been a part of a great team. It's a team less than 1% of the American population can say they're a member of. And for the three honorees of this retirement ceremony, some would say they've now joined the Hall of Fame. I think 2016 is a big year for retirement. Kobe Bryant's going to retire, <laughs> Peyton Manning's going to retire, I'm going to join their ranks in August, I'm going to retire. It's a ceremony to honor the men and women who have given their time to serve our country and will now join the elite group of more than 800,000 retired military members. For me, I, I think it was something I needed in my life. I needed to do something bigger than me. And serving in the military has, has done just that. And the ceremony not only recognizes the retirees, but their families as well. It means a lot. Everybody currently with me has served at one point or another. We've got a captain, a colonel, a specialist, and my son's an airman, so special for them to all be here. Recognizing you know, my family more than me, I felt it was important for my wife and children. They're the ones that have sacrificed. A sacrifice this retiree says has not been an easy one for his family. Daddy not home. Mommy's got to pick up and carry all the weight on her own. and She's done that for years, years and years while I've deployed or trained. And, and I'm very proud of her. And while retirement for one means going home to his family every night, for another it means giving back as a junior ROTC instructor. It just makes them better people, better citizens, and we need that. And the Army. A third retirement honoree, Sergeant First Class David Hickman, was unable to make it to the event due to an injury, but was still recognized for his service and achievements. We wish them all the best. Let's check back in with meteorologist Anthony Peoples. Happy Friday, Anthony.